Hey guys, uh, welcome to Witch's Voice. I'm your Saturday host, and I'm terribly sorry that it's late because um, I, I've been working a lot of hours at work. And uh, the sad thing is, this, this week's topic was my topic choice. Um, my topic choice was what are your favorite tarot, or what is your favorite deck, tarot deck, and oracle cards, or divination tools, anything that goes with that boat. And um, before I get into this, if you guys want to see all my divination tools, there will be a video response uh, in the bottom part of uh, the comment area. And you guys, um, you can click on that video. It'll link you to uh, my Wicked Gems Diary channel. Um, that would actually, if you guys want to go over and subscribe, go ahead by all means. Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you my favorite tarot decks. I'm more of a tarot deck person. Um, it's my strongest, it's one of my strongest points in divinations. Um, I'm slowly gearing towards crystal balls right now. Crystal ball readings and, um, rune readings. I've been working with runes lately. So, anyways, let's jump into it. So, my first, I have to give props to, um, my first and original, um, tarot deck. And it's the Rider Weight Tarot, and if you look at it, it's <laughs> it's used. It's about fifteen years old, I think. Tops. It's pretty old. Um, it's based off the Rider Weight deck, but it's bold colors. Um, I love the backing. I actually bought went out and bought another deck for. Uh, for every uh, everyday use for everyone. I'm going to slowly break that out too. Um, for my next tarot party I'm going to have. But it's very bold colors. really like it. Um, if you ever get it, it's a vinyl tarot deck. It's awesome. This one is the original Wider Weight deck. And if you notice, the colors in this one are more pastel and grainy. Um, very grainy look. Very sepia, somewhat sepia tone to it. I would say. The back has, of course, the rose on it. Um, this is a wider weight deck. I got it for my birthday for my boyfriend. It's one of my favorites. Um, another deck that I got for my birthday from a friend is the Robin Wood Tarot. And I've been madly in love with this deck. I've been, like, literally, I love it. It's kind of, it's based off the wider weight deck, but it's more of European, it's more. Look, look at that. Um, most of you guys don't know. I don't know if you guys know, but if you follow me on Facebook and whatnot, you guys will know that my favorite tarot, my favorite tarot card, out of the Rider Waite, uh, Rider Waite theme decks are the Three of Hearts. It's, if I can agree with the Three of uh, Three of Hearts, the Three of Swords. Sorry, been a long day. If I can agree with the Three of Swords, I would love it. Um, I would love the deck. That's just how I work. My next one would be. My recently purchased um, Oracle deck. Um, this is the Druid Oracle Animal deck. Um, and this, you get the cloth with it. With each corner, it has symbols and it has dragons in each corner, uh, elemental dragons. Um, like it has the air dragon, which is one of my favorite cards. Here's the earth dragon, which is very mysterious and hidden in treasures and deep. It's a really good deck. It has, there's some animals in here I would like to add, which it comes with extra cards to add if you want, but I'm not this great of an artist. Might not be stick figures, but it has an amazing deck. Really, really, really good card. And maybe um, when I did this, when I first got this, I did a free readings, um, but now it's closed, but I did free readings with this, with, um, with my, uh, my Wicked Jim's diary channel, and I did it pretty much. I read the description, and then I visualized it with the card, and I did it right off, and it was amazing. Um, so yeah, like look at the dog. It just the horse. Um, let me see if I can find my favorite card. And it's unusual of me to like this creature because. In real life, I think I'll be... There. 
Sorry, I saw it earlier. The swan, which in real life I would actually be petrified because I know they can peck and hurt you. But I like this one. The backing's impressive. It's blue. I don't know if my camera was picking up. It's dark blue. And uh, I want to get the plant deck. It's the companion to this. Um, my last treasure, more than anything, is my Wonderland deck. Now, for my research, um, I should have, if I knew this, I should have bought both the decks. Um, I should have bought another deck. Um, for my research, this deck on Amazon can run from like $100 to $150. I only paid 10 bucks because this Wiccan shop was closing down, um, was closing at at my aunt's, around my aunt's place. Um, it was closing down and everything was 50% off and this deck was left behind. So I asked my aunt to snatch it up and I'll pay her back when she gets, you know, when she comes up here. Well, bless her heart, she did. And this is one of my favorite decks. I have not and will not use this for readings. Um, there's the Page of Hats. There's the Emperor's. Of course, Alice is in this. There's uh, Flamingos as Swords. Hats. I think hats, pepper mills or wands, oysters or pentacles, hats or cups. That's how I remember. Um, the lovers. And they're very simple, very small, very petite. The backing is amazing. I would love to have this as my background for my phone. Um, it's a little bit of like, looks like roses to me in a way, not for sure. But this is all my deck. I love. These are my decks that I really go to if I really need help and whatnot. Um, again, like I said, if you guys want to see all my divinational tools, it's kind of an extensive long video, but um, just look down in the comments and you'll see video response and you'll see all my divination or something, whatever it is, and you'll see Wicked Gems Diaries. Go over there and watch that video and, and check it out. It's pretty impressive. But till then, um, blessed be, and I will see you guys around.